G'day, I'm Bo O'Brien and today I'm going to show you a couple of different starts. We'll do a beginner start where that's just stand in the water, double hands on the ball with your paddle down one side and push off the beach straight to your feet. Uh, we'll also do a running start which is more advanced. The idea of a running start is to try and get the glide out of the board. You hit the water at full pace, throw yourself with the board, land on both feet and paddle away. That's to maintain full maximum speed before you're actually paddling. Okay, the first start I'm going to show you today is basically a beginner start. The idea of a beginner start is basically hold your board in the water, whatever side you got to jump on, hold your paddle in that opposite hand. Hold each rail of the board, and what you're trying to basically do, you board back to your hips, throw it forward, and as you get out to full reach, your body follows. You're trying to hit your feet first. That's going to get optimal glide out of the board. Here we go, we'll give one a go. A lot of time in a lot of the races, they're going to make you do a sit down start with one leg either side of the board. The easiest way I find to do this, sit in position, leg either side, hold your paddle, a bit shorter grip than normal, but on your rails. So as you go to get up, you basically uh, push up off your rail without your paddle hitting your board, and then straight to your feet. We'll give one a go. Off races, a lot of the time you're going to have a running start, which means you're going to be up the beach, usually 10 to 20 metres from the water, water's edge. Easiest way I find it to do it is hold the board in one hand, paddle in the other hand, hand run down to the water, and you hit the water, you throw the board forward and follow with your legs. The idea is to not drag your feet in the water. We'll give one a go.